Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Natasha and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update about my blue-green timeshare that I purchased back in February. Um, I did make an initial video being like, is it a scam? Because if you research anything about blue-green timeshares, everybody says it's a scam. So long story short, I already made a video back when I first purchased this. I um, was approaching Cabela's and basically got the deal of a lifetime um but basically long story short it was like 160 dollars i think for two nights stay somewhere and then in return if you went to the uh, presentation you received basically that back in gift cards and whatever the deal was going on that day there's always a deal me one during the holiday season and then i ended up booking a flight to charleston just to get out of the city while i was there visiting um and ended up going to the presentation they presented me with the full package which you know it didn't make sense for me maybe for a larger family with kids that is able to do you know these bigger vacations it's the vacation when they're living a normal life and not out overlanding for an entire year it just didn't make sense so of course like i said they always got a deal so they got me with the sampler package and basically what the sampler package was was that i got 2400 points and that i had two years to use it of course every time that i go visit someplace they um try to sell me on like the big package but usually i can get some of those gifts out of the deal so basically how that works is whenever you do book a stay they will try to get you to do a owner update or whatever it is that they call it um but long story short you basically sit down and they try to sell you the full package stand firm don't cave and basically you can walk out of there usually with like a hundred dollar gift card today um or yesterday i should say i did do one of the meetings i am in lincoln new hampshire and um i received a 75 dollar MasterCard and then it was like a $30 gift card and a $25 gift card to local restaurants both which I redeemed yesterday and then this morning without any issues so it definitely wasn't a scam there um the one did include gratuity the other one didn't I ended up tipping on both of them just because I felt weird not tipping these people after they served me so um but again I'm just one person and that basically covered one person's meal so if you're traveling with other people you know then you're basically gonna have to spend some more money there but it was still a really nice perk that i wasn't expecting so with that being said i have now owned my uh, timeshare for eight months and i think that i've done pretty good with it and when i talk to the people at blue green they're very impressed with how many places i've been able to stay in the last eight months so if you don't know anything about um my lifestyle in the last year i was overlanding full time in my jeep and so i was able to kind of hit a bunch of places according to like where i was the other great thing about blue green is that some of the resorts allow you to do day amenity use and so i took full advantage of that um i did it in shenandoah twice and i'm trying to think i think i did it someplace else and i'm just like totally blanking out right now but um i did it in shenandoah twice because like i was passing through virginia a few times and basically what it allowed me to do was stop and do my laundry and like use their amenities like the spa and the pool and the whatnot like that take a shower refill my water steal some ice and like not steal because like I'm a member I'm allowed to do that um but the laundry is free and so basically it was just like a really good pit stop for me I was able to use like their power outlet so I was able to charge all of my batteries up um but if you were in the area it would also just be nice to use the day amenities because Shenandoah is a beautiful property I actually ended up staying there in one of their cabins and Shenandoah might be one of my favorites either that or mountain loft so far so as of right now eight months in i have stayed at five of the locations with that being said i have also canceled two trips um the first one was louisiana that i canceled and it was like initially when i first got it and i had booked it and then there ended up being tornadoes and so i had to like cancel and reroute my driving because i didn't want to be driving through possible tornadoes um I called Blue Green and they actually waived my cancellation fee. Um, they're 
are some weird loopholes when it comes to like their cancellation fee that I'm going to share with you. So the one thing that they always push for is to protect your trip, like points protection. And it's like 50 or $60. And basically what I have figured out is that like the cancellation fee is $60. So like whether you protect them or not, like it's going to be $60. You can also just not even, you can just like forego your points, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can just forego your points and not pay any sort of cancellation fee. Another option that you had is I waited too long to cancel. And so basically I think it was like a week out or whatever and I didn't cancel. I was not protected. And basically the other option they gave me was that I could rebook using those points. It had to be a little bit more. So basically all I did was found a group of days like in the future where I was able to book it and um, rebook it for more points. So I just like added an extra day on so that it was more points than what I had originally booked for. And then I protected that with the points protection and then I just canceled it. So it did cost me $60 in the long run but it was going to cost me $60 regardless and basically it was just a weird loophole where I was able to get all of my points back so as of right now I have used like I think just shy of 10,000 points I think nine or 10,000 points and in that I have got myself five trips because I think this is number all right so hold on let me break it down for you my first actual trip uh was tennessee mountain loft in gatlinburg which was beautiful that was that and shenandoah are like contenders right now for my favorite places that i've been so far so shenandoah or i went to mountain loft and then after that i went to um the laurel crest which is in pigeon forge which is literally like right next door to gatlinburg like a half an hour drive so i was able to like knock those two out and i like stayed for almost an entire like I think I stayed like three days one one place and then I stayed three days at another place. So I stayed almost an entire week in Tennessee in hotels, which was great because there isn't a lot of like free camping as far as like national forests and stuff like that. So it was good that I was able to be in more of those touristy areas, but not spending a fortune on either like camping, like campgrounds or hotels or just being in Walmart parking lots. So that was really nice to be able to experience Tennessee that way. Um, from there, I also was able to score a free trip to St. Augustine. So while I was down in Florida, um, I was going to go to Louisiana. And then with all the hurricanes that were going on, I ended up um, reaching up to Blue Green. And when I was canceling, they were like, um, just so you know, you actually have this free trip that you can book. And one of the options was St. Augustine, which was only a few hours from where I was. With that trip, I actually didn't stay on the premise, but I was able to use the day amenities. Um, so basically that was just like, I stayed at like the Renaissance, which was like right down the street, which was a really nice, all was like a really nice um, hotel. And then um, my meeting was at the actual Blue Green Resort. And then when I was there, I asked them if I could use the day amenities and they said I could. So it all worked out. Um, I also have been to Harbor Lights, which is in Myrtle Beach. There are a couple different ones in Myrtle Beach, and um, hopefully I'll be able to go back and see a couple of the other pro properties. And now I, I am in um, New Hampshire, Lincoln. This is like the White Mountain Forest. It's really close to like Mount Washington areas, which is the highest peak in the Northeast. So this has been really nice. It's been, it's off season right now. So it's super quiet and relaxing exactly how I like to use these. Um, and then I also am booked for Chicago in January. So uh, something else that was really exciting is they just added Nashville to the sampler package and um, it's right in downtown Nashville. So flights are super cheap to Nashville right now. So I'm hoping to knock that out either if not by the end of the new year, um, right after the holidays. So I am basically just making really, really good use of my points. And with that being said, the way I've been doing it is by traveling on the off season, like not going when it's their peak season. Like right now it's right after all the leaves have fallen. And so leaf season here is pretty popular. But now, I mean, I only paid 750 night points a night for a one bread for a one bedroom um unit 
and I have a balcony. I have a huge soaker tub. I have this little like real fire air um, fireplace. So it's cute. It's super cute. Um, you know, it's not like super luxury by any means, but the soaker tub was really nice to just like have a bath in at the end of the day and just having the whole balcony. They're just nice perks that you wouldn't normally get at a hotel anyway. So if you are looking to book a couple trips, like I would look into doing the sampler because while it is annoying to go to those meetings, you don't have to go to them. The reason that I go to them is so that I can get those gift cards because it's a free hundred dollars. And like, I am, I know I'm not going to buy anything. And I tell them that straight off the bat. And I just go there for their feedback, basically for them to a tell me about any new things that are going on with the program. Cause sometimes they do add new resorts since purchasing, they have added two resorts to my sampler package. So I will say that as well too. Um, that my package actually got better after me purchasing it. Um, the package, I, the sampler package, I believe was like $3,000 and you're able to finance it through them or you can pay it out uh, straight out and get like a little bit of a discount. I worked out the numbers and basically with their financing through them, I was only going to make one extra payment. So it just seems worth it to me, like rather than having to like take it out of my savings account and then that money would never go back in there. So it just made more sense for me to just like break it down by the monthly and pay that extra, you know, $245, I think it was for the financing. So I'm actually almost done with my payments. My payments were only for the first year and then I still have the whole second year just to use them. So, um, at this point with me not traveling full time, it's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge to use up the rest of my points. I might just like ball out and like get a presidential suite somewhere and like get my friends and family to come meet me somewhere. Um, but we'll just kind of see what happens. There are still some options like, you know, with flights coming down, I could fly to like Vegas or Arizona or something like that. But I definitely want to try to at least get to Florida as I do have a lot of friends and family down there as I used to live down there. So um, with that being said, I still don't think that it is a scam. I do think that you need to be savvy about the way that you use your points. Um, I think it is very like, I think that people don't realize like that it's going to be hard to, I'm, I'm not saying it's not doable, but it's going to be hard to book like holiday weekends or like just those like really like high peak weeks. If you do, you have to be smart about it and book it out. Like as soon as the window opens up, I think it's like an 11 month window in advance that you can book. Um, which I am kicking myself now for because I should have booked out some Florida places like for this time when I could because now they're all like booked solid. So that was my own fall and like I said, just not being smart about it. But you, like I said, you just need to be savvy about it and it might not work for all people, but if you're able to trap if you're able to travel on like off days, like midweek, like Sunday to Wednesday are always gonna be the lowest points. So that's usually when I try to go. It's also when there's the least amount of kids at the resorts as well too. There's gonna obviously be more kids at resorts on those holiday weekends, on the actual weekends, during the summertime. So that's when I try to avoid at all costs. So um, I think for like somebody like me where I like to travel on the more off days, it's been really beneficial for it and just being like savvy with it. So with that being said, I still standing firm that I don't think that this has been a scam and I have lived the reality as I have now been to four of the locations successfully. I've been to this to four locations successfully and I've also been able to use day amenities at Shenandoah twice, like in addition to staying at Shenandoah. So with that being said, Keep an eye out for them this holiday season because I feel like they go pretty hard in Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop because that's who they're affiliated with. So if you see the little kiosk in the store, it usually means that there's probably a representative somewhere there at any given time. And they usually will just approach you, usually talking about like NASCAR or something like that. But I'm sure also you could just approach them and be like, hey, I've heard about you. Um, what do you got for me? And like I said, don't ever take the first deal that they have. Always try to like, hey, what else do you have? Because 
I did that and then I was able to get extra rewards out of the deal and then it just basically helped break down like this basically this last time I ate for free the last two days and now my gas is covered for my way back to New York with a $75 gift card so it's not the worst like I said it takes like an hour usually and they're gonna talk your ear off but like if you're usually pretty straightforward with them and just tell them like you know it was a good run and it's just not gonna work for me in the future they can't really force you to buy anything so um you know and usually there's free snacks and coffee so <laughs> usually go and take advantage of that situation as well too um but with that being said i will try to do another update in the next couple of months it will be one year in february so by then hopefully i'll have a couple more trips under my belt and maybe i'll do a one year update but as of right now at eight months I have been able to use this definitely 100% to its advantage. All right, it's a little messy because this is my last day here and I'm packing and everything. So, but this is basically the kitchen. It comes fully furnished with all like pots and pans and everything like that. So if you wanted to bring food to cook, um, it literally comes with everything as far as like what you need and like utensils even like graters and uh, pizza slicer tongs all of that kind of stuff coffee machine there's a blender somewhere there's a toaster microwave like i said you could oh a dishwasher so you don't have to wash your own dishes so it definitely is like nice if you don't want to be going out to eat every night i definitely always take advantage of the kitchen and cook a few nights because a it is expensive to eat out by like to eat out all the time but also like to eat by yourself wasn't really that fun so um soaker tub this was really nice i took multiple tubs took multiple baths while i was here um the towels are in there because that's like what the instructions say to do um, but this was like a really, really nice perk. I love a good soaker tub. But with that being said, there was also a massive shower with a seat, which I love, like rain shower head. It's a really nice shower. Dual sinks. My makeup is everywhere, so please excuse that. And then, like I said, this the king size bed. There's also a um, TV in here. Something about these curtains I love, it's like this vintage poppy. Um, and then, yeah, full balcony with um, furniture out here. I mean, it's fall, so, but in the summertime, it would be really nice to just sit out here and have some drinks. So, yeah. And then full living room, which, like I said, as promised, there is. I mean, it's little, but still, like, on-demand, propane, little fireplace. So, honestly, for one person, this was more than enough space. There was a studio that was less points, but I wanted a little bit more space, and I really wanted that soaker tub, so. so yeah. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, leave me comments letting me know what you want to know about this kind of programming that I'm doing, and, um, yeah. See you on the next one.